So let's add rotation to your sprites. In this case, we've got a handful of sprites we're gonna experiment with. I've got a rocket, I've got a car, I've got emojis. Look at the code now. So for rotation, it might be helpful to have a variable that's actually gonna be the angle you're gonna rotate. And if we just run it here, nothing's changing because the angle's not changing. Simplest thing just to change, increment the angel, and it goes over and over and over. But what is that angle? I mean, it's gone around many, many times. A tool that might be helpful on here is to look at the watch variable. So we're gonna look at angle. That number is really increasing. This is a good example of where you want to keep the angle perhaps pinned to the natural angle of like zero to 360. Angle plus 10, we're gonna put this in parentheses and use the modulo function. When it's gonna to go to 360, instead of actually going to 360, it goes back to zero. So the modulo function is like remainder. So we're taking the angle and dividing it by 360 and seeing what the remainder is. And when we wanna divide it by 360, the answer is one, but the remainder is zero. Now we see that right here. You actually see how that number increases and resets back. Now let's look at a few other examples. We could add velocity to see the car spin up as it drives across the floor. A few ways to set rotation, a way to observe a variable while it's running, and you can add it with other properties like velocity. Now go write your story.